Now, most of you, if you're do-it-yourselfers, uh, know what this tool is. It's a crimper, used for putting crimps on uh, a PEX water line. And they work great. It is fairly heavy, a little bit bulky, uh, but it works great. But if you had a, a travel trailer or a motor home or a cabin or cottage, and you thought perhaps you might need to make a repair at some point to your water lines, you probably wouldn't want to carry one of these around or even store it in a trailer because it's big and heavy. So I had a friend ask me uh, for a solution to this and here's what we got. We've got a mini crimper. It opens up and it closes. Use your Allen key to put the pressure on the crimp. Now this is about two inches across and about two inches deep also. And it's made out of half inch material, half inch across this way. And the way I started to do this is <clears throat> I wanted to put tapped holes. You could put them all the way through if you like. I chose not to. I went almost all the way through. And I used a 5 16 18 thread. So these are 5 16 18 threaded bolts. So I ran my tap drill through uh, about 300 thou in from each side. And uh, the tap drill, like I say, can go all the way through. I just chose not to go quite all the way through. Now once you've got those holes tapped down that far, you need to find the center this way from top to bottom and just mark it on the end here and put it in a saw in your horizontal saw or however you want to cut it you can cut it and you're going to cut a line right through the middle so you have two halves now, I would suggest that before you make that cut that you if you can see I've got some tiny little marks here so you know which way the ends go. Just in case you don't get this hole centered perfectly, you don't want to have these reversed or you're going to have a mismatch. So with the little marks on top here, you'll be able to figure out which way it's supposed to go together. So once you've got your two parts together like this, at that point there won't be a hole in the middle yet, you're going to want to put your screws in. So you put both screws in, and screw them all the way down nice and tight and then you want to find your your center here which will be obvious that you'll you'll have a cut line but you find it this way and punch mark where the hole is going to go this hole is seven hundred thousandths of an inch in diameter just like this hole same size You'll be able to run perhaps a 5 16 drill and then a 5 8 drill. And then you're going to have to bore to the 700 because as far as I know, that that's not a nominal size. You're not going to be able to drill that. So you're going to have to bore it to size, which I did. After that, I decided to try it out on this piece of uh, PEX right here. Uh, I put my crimp ring on and put it in and tightened up the two bolts, alternating a little bit as I reached the maximum depth of the bolts. And I found, you can see here, where it's kind of bitten in on this side and that side as it came together. So in order to stop that from happening, let's take the bolts back out again here. You can see here, I just kind of broke the corners a little bit on both sides of both halves. You could use a file or uh, I used a fine uh, sanding belt to do this, but a file would probably work just as well. And this little gadget seems to work just fine. I'm pleased with that. It's very light. Uh, takes no space to store virtually and uh, it's there if you need it.